Hey guys, it's nice to see you again. It's been a while, I know, sorry about that. Uh, today we're gonna go and have a look at this project I worked on previously, this guy right here. And uh, you get to see actually the finished construction of it over here, which is kind of exciting. It's all put together. I'm gonna show you how I painted the bottom part, the Cavern of Doom. And uh, yeah, let's get going. So yeah, that's what we're gonna look at today. Um, can I be real for a minute though? So, this has been tough. Um, this isn't a complaint, this isn't me whining. Um, things are great. Uh, everything's going really, really well. My Instagram is really flourishing. I've got over 5,000 followers. Lots of sales on Etsy. I'm doing amazing commission work. I'm building a Dragonlance treehouse for the D&D legend Joe Manganiello right now. So. There are no complaints on my end. Life is good. YouTube isn't so great. Uh, I filmed a lot of projects I've worked on. I just can't get around to editing. And so these things take, it looks like months to get out. So I need to work on that. That's on me. And if you can stick with me, I'm gonna try and do better. Thanks guys. Let's take a look at this project. All right guys, this is the tavern area from the last build and here is the cavern. Everything's constructed, all put together. I've got an infinity mirror down on the bottom, and we have some 3D printed elements that Dustin, who is going to be the owner of this uh, build, we put those together. Dustin does amazing 3D prints, uh, available at Kings Valley Forge over on Instagram. I'll have a link below. Uh, put some cool lighting in this as well. And here we go, uh, off and running, uh, doing a bit of a time lapse here, getting everything based out in black. It's always a fun part of the project when you see everything based in black, uh, kind of a highlight for me. Wanted to have some extra texture on here, uh, so I've added some white PVA glue and I'm sprinkling in some little rocks and I'll add some sand on top of that. This just gives it some really good texture to the project. And uh, there you go, you can see what that looks like. The more texture you put on anything, the easier and the better the paint will look when you get to that stage. So time spent now is well worth it. All right, starting out with dry brushing, a rare shot of my ugly mug in the photo. Dry brushing, I'm going from a darker uh, color, like a dark gray to a lighter gray as you move through it. Uh, and you're usually adding less and less each time, just bringing out highlights. I really like the structure and the look of this build. It has a lot of really interesting elements to it. Because it is an underground cavern, I wanted to add some fun color. So I've been working with some purples, a little pink, some oranges, uh, golds, that kind of coloring, just to give it some really neat uh, kind of underground uh, feeling to it. These are washes I'm just laying on over top of everything. It's gonna go into all the cracks and the crevices and uh, do kind of a nice job with that. Big truck rolling by the house right now, so you might hear that in the background, so sorry. Here we go, like I said, some bright pink. It feels a bit weird to be adding colors like this, but when you do the whole thing, it's really worth it in the end. It kind of comes out as a really neat uh, visual. And uh, just dry brushing some pinks here on top of that uh, kind of purple. Back to grays, doing more dry brushing, dry brushing, dry brushing, dry brushing. And you'll hear me say that over and over and over. Um, it's a keystone to any of the work that you do in train building. Okay, going in with some uh, orangey, brown, tan washes over on top of the stones now, just giving it a, another bit of a look and feel. More dry brushing, here we go. Um, working on this top section up here. This is where that infinity mirror and the statues are gonna stand. Little checkerboard action, uh, always looks nice. I like to have my diamonds oriented so they're kind of like pointing at you, as opposed to being like a chessboard. Um, it kind of looks a little bit cooler this way. There we go, everything's come together. I really like the look and feel of this. And uh, you'll see in the end with the lighting and everything, it looks amazing. Some more dry brushing here, bringing out some of that texture. Uh, as you do washes, it gets a bit muted, so it's nice to kind of bring some of that back. And you see how that floor is kind of all coming to life. 
All right, looking really good. I want to beef up that um, kind of area up by the diamond checkers. And so to do that, I'm going to put in uh, something kind of interesting. This is a metallic copper. Uh, really adds some punch to the build. Um, you can see just doing this ridge, all those vertical lines get picked up really, really well. So it's, uh, I think it's a really nice look. How is there a line of copper on here? Who knows, guys? It's fantasy. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, one of the last things I do is I go in and I punch a bunch of uh, greens and uh, browns all around the project. This gives it kind of that weathered, old, slimy, dungeony feel. Yeah, you can see it's just layer upon layer upon layer. Uh, I really enjoy doing this kind of work, um, but you do have to kind of think it through a little bit and just practice, play around with it, you'll get it. There we go. If you want to learn more about how to do this, well, there's ways you can do that. Practice by yourself, or you could uh, think about my Patreon site. And you know what? Maybe I should even talk a little bit about that right now. Before we look at the finished product, how about I mention my Pink Phone Brigade. Uh, that's my Patreon site. These people are amazing. These are the Brigadiers. They are the people that help support what I do. Uh, if you are ever interested in learning some of the tips, tricks, and some tutorials on how to do this kind of stuff, check out the Pink Phone Brigade. Uh, there will be a link down below. And uh, I have over 70 videos and posts talking about the uh, different elements that I do in making my terrain. And uh, we have a great live chat area on Instagram, amazing group chat area. Uh, we do live build sessions once a month. We have uh, competitions, so many things going on. If you're interested, check it out. We'd love to have you as a new breed here. Cheers. All right, guys, let's take a look at this. This is the top section, the tavern area that I painted off screen. I think it turned out really well, it really sets the tone very much a tavern feel. There's the well, and as you start going down, you enter the Cavern of Doom. That's what I call it. Whether Dustin calls it that, that's up to him. It's his project now. Um, infinity mirror inside of it always is a cool effect. Two big lights underneath to uh, get other lighting effects going. Broken pillars, broken statues, uh, the rough terrain. Yeah, the whole thing really came together. I'm super excited with this project. Really, really proud of it. And uh, I hope you got something out of this video. Um, we'll have more coming up. Please subscribe, like, all those magical, magical things. And uh, I promise I'll try and be a little bit more on top of my videos. Thanks again, guys. Have a fantastic day. Cheers.